So we need to finish wiring up all of our, I think all the receptacles are pretty much wired up. Uh, we just need to start wiring up all the switches and we can start running our home runs to the panel uh, too. So we'll just have to drill through the floor, uh, go underneath the house, run it over to the corner where it's gonna be and then we're gonna add like 12 feet just so we have plenty of wire in the basement when the house gets set and then we can roll it all back up and zip tie it. So that's kind of our game plan for today. Everybody get your tool belts, please, so we're not looking around for tools all period. Have a knife. You're gonna, you definitely need a knife. So grab your tool belts. Does it need to go in See, between? You spin it like this, and now you can take some needle nose and finish that. So yeah, we're going through that hole, the bottom of the floor joist to the corner make a little mark and then add 12 feet to it and then coil it back up. And then you can staple it in here. Down here. Where are you running it? We still gotta run another one. We still gotta run a home run from the other one. Where are you going? All I need is a zip tie. You got one of those. This is our home run. It's running up to our receptacle. So this is the kitchen right here. Uh, we got the refrigerator, dishwasher, sink, and then we got cabinets coming around. The stove is right here. Cabinets come over to this window, and then there's a peninsula that comes out to about right here, probably. Uh, over here we have the dining room. This would be the dining table right here with light above it. Uh, this room right here is our living room. We have a uh, receptacle mount with TV over in the corner, and they'll probably have a couch or love seat in these two areas. Um, right here we have the steps, uh, the stairs. We haven't cut out the plywood yet. We'll do that. It's going to be make it stronger for lifting it. Uh, the plywood's already at still attached in one piece. So once we get set, this little plywood will get cut out, and then we'll uh, build the stairs. Yes, for the basement. And then in here is the master bedroom closet, and then we have the bathroom over here. We got a back, a small deck on the back, and then we have a. Uh, larger deck on the front. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's, that's good. Oh, I see how you know that. Oh, you use the bathroom? Yeah, that's fine. And this goes to... Give me my dang bag. Figuring out which wire goes to which, like the on the switches and stuff. You gotta have it right or else it won't work or it only works certain times. I'm excited to test it and see if it actually works. Where are we going now? All right, flip that switch, Caden. Oh. 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 Good job, guys. Good job. All right. That's the, one of the fun parts about teaching is whenever they figure it out. You know, they wired the, they ran all the wire, they drilled all the holes, they figured the switches out. Um, they diagrammed it, so yeah, it's it's a great day. They wired it up, flipped the switch, she came on. to do in the kitchen I'll probably bring another crew in here uh, so we can have multiple people working the bathroom is uh, actually the bathroom you guys haven't done your plumbing yet have you so we can you guys will work on the plumbing before you do insulation we got our primer and our pipe glue so First thing you do is you put the primer on both of them and then you put the, the glue on both of them. The primer is just basically cleaning, cleaning it off and allowing the, the glue to uh, stick to it better. Yep, it's going good. We got uh, a little bit of everything going on today. Some plumbing, some electrical, and uh, insulation. So it's going good. It's coming along. It's coming along.
So you're only cutting the paper on the outlet. So you cut the paper, take the paper off, and then the insulation gets stuck around the box. Yeah, you can start with 12 2 coming to the top of the box. Joist hangers for the uh, trusses out on the porch. They never got installed, so we need to finish doing that. You're going to put joist hanger nails into the beam, and then the 16 penny nails go into the truss at an angle. The next thing we're going to work on is these baffles. These go up in between the trusses and you put them to where this air gap, so that allows the, uh, the attic gets really hot in the summertime and it allows the, it ventilates the, the attic. So if your attic gets way too hot, then it's gonna bake your uh, shingles and it's gonna make you replace your shingles a lot quicker than what you have to. We need to make sure it sticks out past the edge of the wall, the outside edge of the wall a little bit so the air can get out of the attic and it gets stapled in there. This is a lot harder to use. Pull it back up in here. I'm gonna have you guys transition over to plumbing right here, okay? All right. What happens if we mess them up on the house? We gotta fix it. We gotta fix it? Yeah. There we go. You're gonna mess that part of it. So we just gotta find it. We do mess up. If, if you guys do mess up, if you know it, you just gotta let us know so we can fix it, right? It happens. Professionals mess up all the time. Just gotta fix it. Now prime it first. Yep. And then make sure you have good bead of glue, okay? You have to clean that up. You gotta prime both of them. Measuring the walls, interior and exterior walls of the drywall. You get drywall sheeting. You get ready for next week. Uh, I'm trying to convert these to foot. Feet. <laughs> Feet, not foot. Got about right down here, and it was 188. Okay, so we just got to start over again, guys. We didn't. We need to know. Okay. Uh, they're figuring the square footage for the drywall. So I uh, did, did a little math this morning. So a little material figuring. We're gonna have them actually. Figure it, they measure every wall. Um, we're just gonna do the square footage and then we're actually gonna go back in and just have them kind of lay out where a 12 foot sheet goes. Not really laid out, but just measure the walls, count how many boards they need, see if we're close, just so they can kind of see the process. See if doing square footage and actually seeing where the physical board goes, see how close we are, just to kind of get an idea. Yeah, so guys, there, you gotta cut it on angle. Today we're working on finishing up, hanging up all the drywall. We're putting on in between wall braces for the drywall. And then we're also going to be going up on the roof with putty and putting some up there and finishing that off today. Working with the drywall is very hard to do because if you make a mistake, you have to do a lot more work. And I don't really enjoy making mistakes and then making other people have to do more work. No, I don't like drywall. I'm trying to stay away from it. It's brittle. It falls apart. And like, 
If you're trying to screw it into the, like the anything at all, will break the drywall. Yeah, I've had to replace like three different drywall panels because I broke it by accident. All right, so wait, take it all the way up first. Don't hit the glue, the get all the way over. There we go. It's going along good. Uh, I, think, I think there's some mixed feelings about the, the drywall, you know, the dust and everything. I think they'll get a real good taste for it when they actually get to start sanding and uh, mud and stuff. It'll, it'll get pretty messy, so uh, they'll either love it or hate it would be my guess. So we're uh, getting a good portion of it knocked out today. I feel like the pro I think we're on schedule for our shipping date, so I think everything's going good.